This island is said to be covered in hundreds of human skeletons that have been infected with the world's deadliest bacteria, the Black Plague, which has a 90% chance of killing you if you get infected. But are these stories true? No one knows, as the government have banned access to this mysterious and deadly island that I'm planning to sneak onto. Dead Man's Island, here we come, boys! My plan is to find evidence of human bones on the island to prove that the government are hiding the bodies from us. It's true, I think there's bones over there. If you go over to there, you can see bones and that. Buried lots and lots of bodies out there. Let's see if these rumors are true. Dead Man's Island is basically this weird little outcropping of marshland somewhere in this direction. Are we yeah. gonna be able to see anything? Be peeling your eyes right now. You can see it? All right, that's it. That's Dead Man's Island. Definitely can't see any bones from there. Is that some? Where? It's this little white thing. What is that? We struggled to identify what was on the island, and so we needed to get a lot closer. And so I asked this guy. No, Have you been out there? No, no one goes out there. You can't. How come? Not allowed. It's not allowed. It's illegal. They asked countless people to take me, but they all said no. You're not allowed to go onto the island. No. Until the only way you're getting out there is swimming or drinking. I was pointed in the direction of some shady people, but even they were hesitant. Plagued up, mate. That's why you're gonna go over there and come up with a black death, mate. But after some negotiating, this had fifty pound a piece. Fifty pound a piece. Grab cash for you guys. Go on, then. Go on, go for it. I think we found a way that possibly get onto the island. Fifty quid. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. This is Jay, and he's going to take me for a ride. Straight off the bat, Jay starts thundering it out towards Dead Man's Island. That is fun. I wasn't sure which island was which, but Dead Man's was almost in my grasp. Okay, okay. As I mentioned, not only is Dead Man's completely forbidden to step onto, but it is notoriously hard to get to. So me and Jay weaved through more surrounding islands which you can't land on either, and so we continued. It's not there. There it was. As we approached, I thought, damn, it was easy getting to this infected plague island. But as you can probably guess, this is where things go wrong, because Jay had other plans. That's right, Jay just kind of does a U-turn away from Dead Man's Island. And what I should have realized right there is he never had any intention of bringing me to the island. So will we be able to take like a, a, like a kind of a close look at it? Instead, he wanted to teach me a lesson. This man starts driving wildly. And just as I slowly realize that I've been scammed and I'm on the back of a jet ski with a maniac, Jay decides he doesn't need me on it anymore. That's right, this scumbag has just thrown me into the water with all my equipment in my pockets. I am seething in anger right now, guys. He hasn't taken me to see the island, and he's taking my money. This smile on my face is hiding the anger I feel right now. This is not good, guys. <laughs> Scammed. And I've broken a $350 microphone. Seems like even a scumbag like Jay was afraid to go to Dead Man's Island. And so honestly, I wasn't sure what to do. I'm just trying to process what happened. I should not have trusted this guy. If there's one thing I've learned from this situation, it's that getting onto the island the illegal way was the wrong thing to do. But if the government truly are hiding the bodies of plague victims on this island, then we can't give up. When I die, I would not like to be forgotten about like that. We need to find another way to get onto the island. How are we getting on there, man? We need to find someone that would completely disagree with my methods so far. We need to find someone who could do this legally. I might know a guy. I might know two guys. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, Chris. This is Simon and Chris, both treasure hunting YouTubers, and if anyone knew how to do this stuff legally, it would be them. I wouldn't advise anyone going there because it's extremely dangerous. If people say you can't visit there, you can't. But there's ways around it. Man. Good to see you, Chris. Good to see you. And Simon knows a loophole on how to get us on the island. The best way by far is pop craft. You might want to wear these just to stop the, um, the noise because it can get quite deafening. Dead Man's Island, here we go! The only thing you're not allowed to visit the island, the mud is an intertidal navigation zone. And if you happen to jump out whilst you're in the mud, then why not? Dead Man's Island is surrounded by tons of quicksand. And when the tide is out, a lot of this is exposed. Now, I know this sounds really dangerous, but the quicksand is technically legal to explore. 
That means as we arrive on this infected island, we can't stop moving. Otherwise, we may never get off. I went really deep. And with that, I took my first step onto the island. Oh man, it's been an adventure. Oh, Before we start digging around and, and looking around, shall we suit up? Because if there really are Black Plague victims on this island, as people say, the deadly bacteria can survive within their bones for hundreds of years. I do not want to be responsible for another global pandemic. Well, I can't believe we're actually on here now. And now we potentially might find some dead bodies. So now we're going to begin the search and just see what we can find. We're at the perfect time, low tide. Ugh. Bone. Is that? Um, I don't know. Lads, I did find another bone. One. Yeah, it's a small one. Like I don't know if that's a could be a, ha a like a hand bone. We did find fragments of bone, but we couldn't confirm they were human. So our search continued. Everyone is searching the ground, looking for stuff. We're seeing tons of hundreds of years old bottles of like medicine, beer bottles and like clay pipes. It's a medicine bottle. So you'd have oh. been given that when you, like cough cures, lung cures. Black plague. If we were finding all these items belonging to people from the same time period, it was now becoming more clear. We may find the people that these items belong to. Man, that is a very, very old shoe. Look at that, completely worn. The bottom of an old shoe. That can be there well over 100 years. After a few more hours trudging through the treacherous quicksand. Look at that. Oh, God. This is where everything changed. We might have been looking in the wrong spot. The only problem is it's pretty damn treacherous to get to. Oh, wow. And finally, we entered the Black Plague Zone. Instantly, we found something. That is human. Oh, wow. Grab that. Oh my wow. Yeah, I'll tell you that's human. That is a fibula. I'm pretty sure of it. So there you go, Zara. There's your first bone. Oh wow, I'm holding a human bone right now. So yeah, that'll be in the arm. That looks absolutely about right. Yeah. This did seem to be human, all right. But if this was a Black Plague dumping zone, then we should be finding a lot more. You don't want to go too near those. I'm not going to itch my face with that, I'll tell you. But after that, is that another one? We did. A human foot here. Oh, sorry. Rib bone. Yeah, that's pretty human. Same, huh? Rib bone, wow. Leg bones, arm bones, all over the place. This is crazy. Oh my god, look right in front of me as well. Oh my god! That's a whole person's leg! I was not expecting that! I couldn't believe what I was seeing with my own eyes. We've seen the bones of feet, legs, ribs, arms, hands. And there was only one thing left to find in order to prove clearly to the world that human bodies were left on this island. This person's entire skeleton can't be that far if somehow these survived together, you know? Oh my, there's the teeth. I was sort of hoping to find this. But seeing it now actually turns my stomach a little bit. This is a little piece of a human skull right now. Teeth intact. Oh man, that makes me feel weird just looking at a human skull. Wow, that's really insane to look at. That's very clearly a human, a part of a human's face or certainly was a long, long time ago. It's so crazy to think that the Black Plague could still be on these bones the way it can survive. I'm potentially looking at something that's still carrying the Black Plague. We expect when we die that our remains will be dealt with care and respect. And these victims were denied that. It's a lesson, man. We're all just a bunch of bones and flesh. Yeah, I suppose you'll end up like this, don't we? Love your life, yeah? There's no memory. Everybody that we know is going to forget about us as well. It does make me just want to go like, all right, you know what? We do only have one shot at this. Gotta make it count. It turns out the stories were true. Victims of the plague and other diseases were left here on this island to rot for centuries. And that's not a fate I would want anyone to endure. And it was with those thoughts I made up my mind. And so, Jay? I forgive you, man. You gave me an experience I will never forget. And honestly, I'm just going to cherish it for the rest of my life. You're still a scumbag, but no hard feelings. If you guys want to watch another video, you can click here.